Aquarius, I decided to do a little bonus read for you tonight. Um, so for a long time I've been wanting to do a Celtic cross using the Wild Unknown deck. So I think that's what we're going to do right now. All right. Now, one moment. Yeah, so I paused the tape and I've been here doing a lot of shuffling. So um, fear not. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is how many more shuffles? Because we're going to do in six more. That's a good number. So I'm going to take it right off the top, okay? Six. In five, in four, three, and two, and one. And we're just going to take it right off the top. All right, here we go. Woo raccoon at the bottom of the deck. All right, now, so first we will have the issue. Oh, wow. Definitely your reading. Wow. You guys are so magical. <laughs> oh, the gazelle. I've never seen that one before, actually. Wow. Ooh, this is going to be very interesting. It won't be boring. That's for sure. All right. So, wow. <laughs> Somebody's nervous. And... Wow. Okay. Now. Whoa. Okay. Stand by. Now, I am basing what I'm about to say on the original meanings of these cards. So for anyone who wants to comment, you're making this up. No, I'm not making this up. I am being guided by the author of this deck when I say the following. Um, it appears that the issue is that somebody has been very um, focused or distracted perhaps about what other people think of them to the point where they have forgotten their deeper calling, and I believe this is you. Um, so in other words, um, Aquarius, have you put aside a dream that you have, you know, a goal that you have, um, uh, you know, in place of, in other words, have you been so busy trying to people, please, that uh, you've, you've uh, you know, you've forsaken your own dreams? Um, the other issue um, that is sort of being highlighted here is the fact that somebody is completely under your spell and not, a, not in a bad way, in a good way. They find you very alluring and very beautiful. They find you exquisitely beautiful. Um, they get a thrill just being around you. So um, this is the issue, but as you can see, um, you may be so busy sort of uh, keeping the allure up that um, that you've been distracted from, you know, pursuing your own dreams. Anyway, I'm tempted to clarify it with a tarot card. I might. Stand by. Can we get a hint? Can we just have one tarot card to clarify the starfish as the... Uh, issue so we can see if we are right. Yeah, absolutely. Be Sorry, that's, I got to tell you something. An hour ago, both, all, all was quiet. The kittens were all in bed. Kit Kat was asleep and so was Tinkerbell. One little kitten crawled in to bed with me and um, it, I think it's uh, one of the male kittens um, anyway, he tumbled over the side of the bed. I was actually half asleep. Um, and it's so that tr he caught himself on a cord that triggered Tinkerbell, which triggered Kit Kat and, and the whole house went up. So anyway, all hell broke loose. Uh, sorry for that interlude. 
this is something that you this is a passion of yours all right that that this is something you want to pursue i feel all right so um also somebody wants to pursue you i feel all right let's keep going we're gonna look at the challenge now well aquarius some of you have an opportunity coming up here um this zebra could either be you or another person but generally uh, when this card comes up um, they say it is a hint to pack your bags uh, in a good way um, it's all about someone who perhaps who a visionary I mean does that not sound like you <clears throat> someone who is eccentric creative <clears throat> it could be uh, someone uh, uh, going off to explore in a faraway land um, Expanding the worldwide view while having a blast. Um, now, I feel like this is, this could be another person. We're going to get a tarot card. You, so this could be something that is tempting you here. My, it, by the way, it may have something to do with fashion. We have a tarot card to clarify the challenge. Wow. I am, you know what, I feel like it's another person coming in. Uh, because I'm just looking. Do you see the uh, the horse? Just the look that the horse has on his eye. Sorry, guys. Maybe it's because I cannot bring this into focus. There we go. Now, we're going to have a look at the zebra. I feel like there's a new person coming in. It could be a Leo. <laughs> look out. Uh, wow. So the zebra personality is someone that can sweep you off your feet. Does that not sound like a Leo? I think someone is coming in that's going to sweep you off your feet. That's what I feel. Let's look at the reigning energy, the gazelle. All right, guys. By the way, you may have some, uh, somebody who's watching this reading has a food allergy. Um. The over uh, the reigning energy is that somebody is hyper vigilant about their environment. In other words, they're overthinking and they're worrying, stressing. Um, that is gazelle energy. Um, it's it's like being it's like having a heightened awareness, but to the point where someone is feeling vulnerable. Um, so you're, it's like your mind racing and, and feeling, uh, reacting, you know, for example, if there's a loud sound, you might find yourself jumping, but it could be, um, it could be the impact of this person that appears to be somebody who's coming into your life. It could be the impact that that person is having on you, or it may be the other way around, um, if there's a sense of heightened awareness here, okay? Um, so there's a tendency uh, that somebody's having to worry too much. So feel free to calm the racing mind here. Can we have something to clarify? Wow, I feel like you're anticipating something coming in and something is coming in. A lot of fire energy up there, by the way. The gazelle is fire. Um, and so is the Three of Wands. So I feel like you're anticipating something coming in and something is coming in. Notice how the Three of Wands, that can also be going abroad. So, um, all right, somebody, perhaps somebody is coming from a faraway land. But the, the point is you're anticipating something good coming in. All right. Now, the other thing that could be going on here is that you're anticipating your spidey senses are telling you that somebody could be preparing to leave to go overseas something like that 
All right, now the subconscious energy is vulture energy. Let's have a look at that. All right, it appears that there is a need uh, to purify your space. Um, there may be somebody that's left some toxic energy um, behind here in the subconscious. Can we please clarify what? Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Somebody has left. So this is leftover energy. This is not, this is old energy. This is not energy that's coming in. So there is a need for you to either sage or, um, you know, maybe use some uh, bath salts or something, something to detoxify your space. All right. There's also an idea here of what you thought was a tragedy could be a blessing in disguise. All right. So in the recent past, the hawk energy is much like the, it's like the messenger of God, the messenger of divinity. Um, it's also sort of like the page of swords. Um, it's some information that uh, it's the all seeing. Uh, I mean, it's like, a, it's like news that has been carried to you from the divine. So you may have dreamt something um you may have had some kind of a download this is a, a message that's not delivered by a human being it's 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 from the divine but it is accurate and all seeing so there's something it's like having a keen sense of insight so there is something that you have picked up on intuitively in the recent past um that will be useful to you I'm going to clarify with a tarot card. Okay, what, pray tell, ah, is this? Clarify the, this message. Wow. Could be from someone who's passed away. Clarify again. There may have been a loss in the past there may have actually been an actual loss of money i'm i'm picking up energy uh mother energy here uh, it i feel like there is someone that you used to look up to either a grandmother a great grandmother a, a female energy it could be a friend somebody who has passed away i believe Somebody that you used to, uh, you know, consult with or perhaps used to consult with you. But I do believe you've received some sort of a download. All right. Could be in the form of a dream. All right. You may have been praying for an increase in your, uh, you know, something to fill up five of pence energy. Uh, boy, is it ever coming in. All right. Now, let's look at what the tarantula is in the near future. I just saw 1333, three, three, three. so 333 three, three could be a number that you're seeing. So, in the very near future, there will be an important choice that you will have to make. You will be at a crossroads. There's some kind of exciting opportunity. Um, and the idea of this card is to follow your intuition, all right? Um this is a, a, your there will be a decision in the very near future a, an option for you to go into your dharma your life's purpose if you're not already there if you're already there it would be to continue following your intuition and i believe another crossroads for you all right i'm going to clarify it with the tarot card clarify this important crossroad to follow Aquarius is Dharma. Yeah, be careful not to miss it. Be careful not to miss it. Uh, you could add, there's a there's a possibility here of you not taking that cup. It will come around again if you do, but uh, be careful not to miss this. Check your all your inboxes, your spam. Woo! Wait till you see that was the Ace of Pentacles. Just a minute, I believe it was anyway. Yes, it. Whoa! Look at what's coming in. Wow. All right. 
Let's keep going. Wow. Now, if there is an idea of following in your parents' footsteps, this is actually a tool um, somehow for you. Um, clarify the wolf energy as a tool. Clarify the wolf energy as a tool. This is like a leader of a pack, yes. So this could be advice um, that you're getting from a, um, a wolf energy. So this would be like a parent, all right, or an advisor here, a leader of the pack. Um, men a mentor, all right, a teacher. Um, you may be studying uh, something. Uh, you may be studying, you may be doing religious studies or political science or something. Um, but there is some guidance here that you can seek. Um, now, the outside influences. <laughs> Mouse energy. Let's have a look at that. Okay, so somebody is being over controlling and overly picky, trying to uh, uh, try not to focus too much on every little detail. All right. Um, it's okay to be organized, you know, and prepared, but not to the point where you're nitpicking and fearful, you know, and limiting yourself. Um, so, You want to step back from the nitpicking, all right? Or step back from anyone who is nitpicking at you. All right, now the hopes and fears, stingray energy. Well, so there is an idea here not to allow yourself to be pressured uh, by family or friends. Um, anything that is sort of, um, you know, restricting your personal growth uh, there, there, there is going to be, there's an idea here of deciding between the old and the new. All right. So uh, try not to fall back too much into your self note. Try not to fall back too much into what's comfortable for you and familiar. Um, there's, an, there's an encouraging aspect here for you to go toward the unfamiliar and the uncomfortable. Now... Let's look at the outcome. What's so incredible is that, do you see that little circle up there? That means that this is one of the major arcana cards. There are only seven major arcana in this deck and that's one of them. And, and it is really auspicious that the only major arcana card is in your outcome. And wait till you hear what this means. So in this deck, there are seven major arcana cards and they all correspond to the seven chakras. <clears throat> I do believe that this is about your dharma, your purpose in life, this reading, because the sea serpent corresponds to the sacral chakra. Um, so th this has to do with your uh, directing your energy into your true passion. Um, I mean, it, 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 there, is a, there is a need here to release the care and concern about what other people think of what you're doing, um, to allow yourself to fall naturally into um, what you were meant to be doing. Now, I know that's easy to say uh, and hard to do, um, but there is a very, very huge opportunity coming in here, um, and it's going to release, or well, it's going to be requiring you to release all judgment, including self-judgment, and to allow yourself to express yourself emotionally as well, um, and in a creative way. Um, there is also an idea here of sensuality um, and directing your energy um, into sort of a healthy current. It's absolutely incredible here. So no more judging yourself. Now I am going to get a card to clarify the outcome because that is general and <laughs> really general. Can we clarify the sea serpent as the outcome for Aquarius's reading? Clarify the sea serpent as the outcome 
for Aquarius's reading. Clarify. Uh, remember the uh, the need not to. That could be the self judgment there. That that person up there could be somebody that's trying to control what you're doing. Now we're gonna look at. Wow. So I believe that this energy here is exactly what I was just talking about. Self-limiting beliefs, self-judgment. Um, this energy here has got to go. This is an idea of being committed to yourself. A lot of Taurus energy here, by the way. Make the commitment to yourself. Um, the Empress, uh, you know, this is where you come into your own. Um, the Empress is very creative there's, I mean, the Empress can fuel a business, business ideas. Um, it's not just other people and um, families and, you know, uh, it's not just motherly nourishing energy. It's energy. It's creative energy to produce um, and to be very fruitful. So what I see here is that there's an idea here of making a commitment to yourself. And on the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups, which is your true desire there is a heck of a lot of taurus energy up there um now look um the six of pentacles that could be somebody lending you money to take a trip or um to invest in a business up there it's not always i, I just generally do not like that card because the scales are not balanced up there but perhaps that's the whole idea of this sea serpent that um in order to rebalance everything there is a need to to stop feeding, uh, you know, people pleasing, whoever that is up there in the red jacket. Um, the heck with that person. <laughs> All right. Uh, or if you're in the red jacket, pick the the one the one thing that you want to channel your energy into. It might be neither of those energies that are pulling on you up there. Um, I also feel that you don't, there's, you may not need anyone to help you out financially here. Um, if there's someone that's offering, in fact, if someone is offering to fund a project, it, that could be what the raccoon energy is right there. So just keep that in mind. Somebody may be so excited about whatever idea it is that you have that they, they want to, you know, they want to have, they want to be able to, they may see that you have a victory coming down the road and they want to be able at a later date to say, I helped Aquarius, I invested, blah, blah, blah. No, you don't need that person. You do not need that person. Um, anyway, Aquarius, it looks amazing. Let me know if it resonates. All right.